blog post is live and we're gonna get sunfire as uh the fifth member on the unlimited x-men and it looks like there's going to be a new defensive war team with heroes as guardians uh so there's gonna be reworks to sif heimdall and thor and the next patch which is going to be not this upcoming tuesday but the following tuesday uh, my prediction is that the patch will be coming in on the 14th of june and i'm expecting the two as guardians to be valkyrie and uh, jane foster thor so let's get into the sunfire kit and then we're also get into all of the events we've got the pride month uh events coming up which they use the the multiple of 69 because if, if we, we need more 69 and more long jokes in our lives, obviously, uh, I think the general consensus is that people prefer long jokes, though. Powered by the sun, sunfire. All right, we're not going to read all of this, but uh, set to shine with the unlimited X-Men team is the powerful mutant sunfire. Alongside Gambit, Dazzler, Phantom X, and their horseman leader, Rogue, this team will be officially ready to tip the scales of judgment in your favor in Cosmic Crucible game mode. Now put on sunblock and let's meet the bright new teammate for the Unlimited X-Men. So here's the backstory. We're going to skip past that. Sunfire slots into the Unlimited X-Men as a damage dealing blaster. Instead of gaining power from the sun, Sunfire heats up with offense up, which his kit revolves around. He gains offense up on spawn in Cosmic Crucible, gains it after each one of his turns and applies it to his allies. Sunfire's kit also allows him to use his powerful ultimate ability twice in quick succession we're going to go over that by using his special ability on turn two which gives him 100 speed bar and then he goes right back in to the ultimate so he is hero global mutant blaster unlimited x-men we're going to go to the passive first at the end of this character's turn gain one offense up up to maximum five so he's gonna have offense up always in crucible on spawn game offense up for two turns Gain resistance and then give uh, unlimited X-Men also resistance, 30% resistance. While this character has counter, gain 10% damage. Now he's going to be able to get cam counter from his special. And while this character has speed up, gain 10% speed. And Gambit uh, on Gambit special, which is that uh, zero cost special, does in Crucible apply speed up to self and all unlimited X-Men allies. So... Uh, that's how that will play out there uh, is it, he's going to get speed up from uh, Gambit. Now, let's go to his ultimate, uh, which is going to go off turn one, six, six, tack all enemies for damage uh, with its piercing damage. So that bypasses armor, apply defense down for two turns, gain damage per offense up. So he's going to have multiple offense up uh, based off of his passive uh whether he's in crucible and then also his special will give him even more offense up which we're going to go into because turn two this is going to be going off back to back right this is going to go off turn one at the end of this character's turn clear all offense up on this character the attack is unavoidable then turn two 10 10 boy not a raid character but this does gain five ability energy so uh it, it you know it's an interesting way of doing it right Energy cost 10, 10, clear disruptor from self, fill speed bar of 100%. So this doesn't do any damage. It's going to clear disrupted. He's going to immediately get 100% uh, turn meter and then pop off an, an, another ultimate because of the five ability energy, right? Gain two offense up to a maximum of five. Gain two counter up to a maximum of three. Apply offense up and counter to all and allies. So five energy. So basically turn one, reign of fire, turn two, special solar flare immediately backed up by another rain of fire so back-to-back -back aoe's then his basic attack attack primary target for 320 percent piercing apply one bleed per offense up on this character up to a maximum of three so it is what it is uh looks like he's going to function within the team right uh the kit is good i i just uh i don't see him being like a raid character or anything like that i'm sure he's gonna get used but this is what it is this is a a cosmic crucible team and and that's what rogue and the limited x-men are as guardian updates so this is going to be uh for hero as guardians now i pretty much use um 
Hela and Loki in certain situations. They seem to be very plug and play. Thor largely has been put with the Wave 1 Avengers, and then Heimdall and Sif have been on the bench for a minute now, uh, not using. So it's going to be these three and two unnamed as Guardians heroes. So I think most people are thinking that it's going to be Valkyrie and uh, Jane Foster Thor based on the trailer. So uh, the gods of Asgard were once helicarrier defense stalwart, striking fear into the hearts of attacking forces. Prepare thy trembling knees, mortals, for the Asgardians are poised to return to war defense supremacy with the up upcoming Heroes Guardian team. Strike veterans Thor, Sif, and Heimdall will be joining two newcomers to this team with a kind mind might to propel them into victory over some of the most intimidating war teams. Reveal how the new uh, two new recruits in the next week. But until then, here's a look at the ability and stat upgrades that'll help send foes into cold embrace of hell. So uh, Thor has a very small rework. Heimdall has some extra utility uh, and, and uh, Sif will now be a better tank. So stat increases, right? Which they need. Pretty much every character that, that has come out, you know, more than a year ago, you know, ever since Silver Surfer, there's been a drastic stat increase, right? And so, you know, they, they're going to need this to get the boost. Now, when we get this, I, I do want to say this, that typically these stat increases uh, are not fully realized until you take your character to gear tier 14. That is the way reworked characters in the past have worked, like OG Spider-Man. To get the full benefit of these stat increases, probably, until we get the, the data in msf.gg, probably requires gear tier 14. All right, so what happens? Now, his, his special was basically changed a little bit and adds clear two negative effects from self and all allies, so a cleanse. That is fantastic. And then his passive has some new little tricks. Some of it's still the same. In war, on turn, turn, on turn generate two ability energy for two random heroized guardian allies or self that were not at full energy. So he's like a battery on heal block, gains speed bar, and then in addition, now he always had like an anti-blind kit where he had 10,000% resistance against blind and so did Asgardian allies. Now it'll be 100% accuracy as well. So uh, what blind, because blind is basically minus 100% accuracy. So gaining 100% accuracy effectively negates blind in any possible way that I can imagine. I'm not really sure if there's any situations, but... I was to say, I don't think that this team is getting blinded or, or missing because of that. Uh, gain focus, as Guardians gain focus, that was there before. Gain 25% crit chance. Here, as Guardian and allies gain crit chance. So that means Raider might be a viable ISO class. Seems like they're doing a lot of crit type things uh, so that we will use Raider more. Seems like Striker usually is a default, but now with these uh, crit bonuses, uh, Raider becomes more viable. On war defense spawn, apply defense up for two turns itself and I was going to ally to do that before. But then when this character or hero has got an ally drops below 50% health, apply two death proof and speed up to for two turns to that character. So uh, Sif also has some new uh, mechanics when characters drop below 50% as well. So apply death proof and speed up. So that's going to give them a lot more resiliency for sure. Sif getting her stat increases right there massive amount of focus there we go and then her special uh which is basically how she taunted now also gives her defense up to herself and all hero as guardian allies so not only is she going to be blocking she's always had like a high block chance and block 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 now she will be giving defense up into the whole team again when she does that uh shield slam then her passive which is i, I kind of like on spawn gain defense up plus two deflect you got the healing that all the asgardians have the block chance that she had before more block chance for asgardian as she's always had that gain 25 percent resistance and then hero asgardian allies will also gain that and then here's the the kicker right here on spawn gain immunity remember she's going to be a tank when hero asgardian ally drops below 50 percent gain taunt for two turns so when they drop below 50 percent they're also going to be getting the new buffs from uh, Heimdall, which is going to be uh, applied to death proof and speed up for two turns to that character. So that's going to happen. She's going to taunt when that happens. Then 
when this character or a hero has gone and draw like drops below 50% health, apply offense up to them for two turns to that character. And uh, so that is going to be great. So when any of the hero as guardians drop below 50%, they're going to get offense up. They're also, she's going to taunt and then Heimdall will be giving them death proof and speed up. So a lot of passive mechanics, which play well for the AI on defense in Alliance War. Then Thor kind of has a, a mediocre rework. Now he's been reworked before. So uh, this is not the first rework Thor has had. He was reworked uh, to work better with Wave 1 Avengers, but he's gonna get a stat boost right there. His basic attack now will have flip defense up and then his special uh, now will have um, a higher crit chance. And so uh, again, Raider will probably be a uh, an ISO class to look at. So are you excited about this? I mean, everybody loves war specific teams. Everybody loves Cosmic Crucible's teams. I, I feel like the community doesn't really like them that much, specifically war defense teams. It, it is what it is. Uh, how effective they're going to be. I, I don't see anything game breaking in there like Heroes for Hire. Heroes for Hire had you know like pretty much an absurd kit it's still pretty absurd uh you know pretty much requires like trauma plus heal block to get through them and that that really annoying charge mechanic okay bendy girl and the witch this was in the data mine and what you need to know about this is if uh, probably most of us or a lot of us have already finished this event but and if you have finished this event in the, in the past yeah uh, you will get all the upgraded rewards so here is the event it's going to be on june 9th and uh which is going to require miss marvel and scarlet witch and here are going to be the rewards all fantastic bonus stuff is bonus stuff i'm looking forward to getting that rolling rebels events so they're now going into uh, all the events and there's uh two three categories of events rather but uh there's the events that mirrored last month's events which is uh last month was uh the spider woman and nico events so a lot of these events are going to mirror that and they're going to be for uh, Dazzler and for Gambit, but then there's also some uh, Pride events and uh, for the Nico costume, and then they also tell us basically when the next patch is going to be coming, which is not going to be this upcoming Thursday, but uh, upcoming Tuesday, but the following Tuesday is when they, we're expecting that to come. Coordinated Assault. So this is the one where you uh, uh, spend a cam Ion campaign energy. Uh, if your alliance is active and you get good participation from your teammates, I found that a lot of people are able to finish this one quite easily. Pride Inferno. So this is uh, the one for the costume, the Nico costume. And uh, they said this basically gives us the date of the patch. It says, please note that Nico's costume won't be viewable or purchasable until version 6.2 release goes live, which will occur soon after the end of the Pride Inferno. We did get a calendar on Twitter and other social media where it states that the end of the Pride of Ferno event will be the 14th of June, which is a Tuesday. Typically patches here at Marvel Strike Force come in on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. So that's when we can expect the patch based on uh, what the information that we have right there. Uh, Pride Orb, and uh, this is gonna be a, a uh, an event. And there was a data mine that said one of these pride events would give 6 million gold. Data mines are data mines. There's no mention of 6 million gold here in this post, uh, but be on the lookout for that uh, for sure. Do the orb hustle by earning pride orb fragments from select campaign nodes and the all clear daily objective, then open pride orbs to earn Nico shards, trading modules and select origin gear. And then there's a visual bug uh, right there. So pride of Ferno milestones. Look what they did here, spin enemy some spend energy spend campaign energy excluding iso 8 and earn pride orb fragments to boogie your way through the milestones that reward six million gold well there it is all right i guess i missed that my first reading there it is six million gold that was in the data mine uh so there you go and the rest of that here is the points breakdown wow you know, so uh, I don't know if you saw the video where I talked about 132, which was like code for like FU or something like that. They seem to like to do this. Maybe this is programmer humor or something. I don't know. And then all of the milestone points are multiples of 69,000, of course, right? And then here is the look at the costume, which will be 
uh, awarded when you hit milestone 24. And then of course uh, the costume currency converts. And then we've got some more rising star, some part of pride month uh, 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 events. And uh, I, I'm kind of kind of a new approach to these events, man. I just play the game the way that I normally do. Uh, but this right here, I believe is going to be uh, in the web store and the web store ones seem to be uh, pretty fair overall, like not super challenging. Uh, so this is going to be in the web, the web store. And uh, I hope if you're playing this game, you have access to the web store and you check it daily because they tie a lot of rewards with that. Unfortunately, if you're on iOS uh, for now, you have to log in uh, with Facebook. And I know a lot of people don't use Facebook. All right, so we're gonna move past all the, the, the events. Then we're gonna have the Brotherhood Boogie, which is going to be the Blitz Rumble, which requires a uh, Brotherhood. Those are pretty simple in my opinion. Also, if you have the team maxed out and then we've got the weekly events. So we've got Shatterstar Blitz. We've got uh, Phoenix uh legend repeating legendary event then we're gonna have the the quick rumble brotherhood blitz which uh like we just had one last night for uh guardians of the galaxy right payday bonus event which is the uh, the mercenary gold event for monthly that now pays out 5.4 million dollars until next time they didn't say good luck commanders at all oh my goodness they didn't do that what do you think are you excited about uh i don't know how i feel about this guy i i mean or or even as guardians we'll have to see how it plays out uh what i really wanted to know which was not in this blog post i wanted to know two things what's going on with the gambit unlock you know he is a a, a one star unlock requiring 15 shards what are they going to do with that are they going to pull some some little shenanigans and make it super challenging or are they going to be generous with that like they were with silver surfer like a year ago and then the second thing is that yesterday's data mine suggested that there was going to be a new raid and what are they going to do with the new raid is it going to be just an extra tier level is it going to be an entirely new raid are they going to give us some relief like they mentioned uh earlier this month with uh, some sort of uh uh efficiency you know with the gamma raids maybe we get a sim blitz uh sim raid feature or something like that that was kind of some of the information i was looking for but we do have one more blog post a week from today uh next friday before the patch maybe that information will be there let me know what you think in the comment section and as always thanks for watching and keep on giving prepare yourself for the apocalypse